It's your boy E. Wilson and JTC is on the move right over here at the office in Bedford, Texas. <clears throat> Listen, uh, there was a conversation that took place today. I just wanted to share on it. Um, a post on Facebook and it was talking about this show that's out uh, called Love and Hip Hop. Now, I I was sharing, I was hearing uh, responses about the show that it's this, that it's that, what it's teaching um, as far as women and uh, the abuse of uh, abuse of women and, you know, how it's not um, teaching our men right and, you know, none of these people really have a hit uh, who are on that show. So I had had to be honest and said I haven't seen the show. Um, I really don't watch a whole lot of TV. Um, when I do, it's stuff that's going to empower me. At the same time, I said I have to know what's going on out here because, you know, uh, we have kids that we mentor and just because I'm not watching it doesn't mean that they're not watching it. And I need to be able to address uh, these issues to understand that my world and their world is two different worlds. So as I was thinking about it, I said, I'm going to put this post out. I said, because, you know, uh, it's an old thing. You know, it was talking about, you know, um, how society is pouring this thing into television and it's, you know, kind of, you know, really dramatizing and giving us a false sense of reality. Uh, uh, even with the hip hop show of, of how all black people are or if there's white people. I haven't seen the show, but I said, this is old. This has been going on. It's just that we get to see it more now and it's more blatant and in the open. But the people who created the show, they had to get this information from somewhere. And how could they give such garbage and still have so many people tuned in? And I just shared the one thing I did know is that when you put something out that's positive, it's not as appetizing. It's kind of like eating broccoli and eating chocolate. I don't care what you say how good the broccoli is for you. Chocolate always tastes better. So when you look at this comparison of what's going on here in the world today, drama, sex, violence, guns, all of that stuff sells. The issue is that we're buying it. We're buying it. And so, you know, it really pricked me when I thought about it. And I'm saying it's given a false sense of how it's okay for women to abuse, uh, uh, men to abuse women. And I said, okay, here we go. Check this. I got my little board here. I said, um, you got God, you have the family, then you have dad and mom, and then you have the kids. Well, it's been since the beginning of time that if we can get dad out the picture, or if dad... Uh, I'm going to put it like this. I'm just going to be straight. If dad is in the picture, but he's not stepping up to his responsibilities or leading the family or whether the wife or the mother doesn't want him to lead or really doesn't understand his position, the whole family is off kilter. It's really like one and one is two. The family is off. So when you move dad out the way, okay, and, and, and I just want to know that for a lot of men who have um, maybe walked away from their families, given up. Let me tell you something. I don't judge them, brothers, because, and I say brothers, that's men of all ethnic backgrounds. It's not easy to be what you're called to be. And though everybody wants you to be the man to step up, sometimes it's like, you know, uh, y'all really not trying to hear that. You know, it's kind of like the coach on the basketball team. Everybody wants to be the coach, but nobody wants to listen to the directions. And so if we're called to lead, we're called to lead to guard and protect. So I'm saying when you move him out the picture, this is what you have. And you have all these other influences, like my doctor's writing, that's coming into the home. And though mom may see some of it, she won't see it from the same angle as a father. And so I'm saying that to say that when I was thinking about it, and this ain't no promo, but when I was thinking about it, one of the answers, if you are confused with what's going on out here, you need to get this book from JTC mentor, Mr. Chris Daughtry, because in the book, it's describing what's happening with love and hip hop. It's describing a mentality. It's not talking about that show, but the mentality is men, you know, how we've been abusing women for years. A lot of the abuse is from our own self-esteem issues. You know, women didn't have a father around. If they did, he wasn't really on his game. So she has a misconception of what the father is all about. So when she gets him, she really doesn't have a reference point. So she can't tell what's good and what's not, what is and what's not, you know, what's right and what's wrong. And so this book really um, is breaking it down. How we've been getting the women. They got low self-esteem. It doesn't matter how good she looks in her hips and her breasts and all that stuff. Low self-esteem. Not all. So don't get twisted. But a lot of them have low self-esteem. We judge them based on the outside. 
But there's an inside that we have yet to tap into to find out who she really is. So this book really, really breaks it down. And the feedback that we're getting from this book is phenomenal. So I'm not here to sell you a book. I'm here to give you an opportunity that if you really want to understand what's going on out here in the world today as far as men and women in relationships our young boys and you know they're getting with these girls and they're having babies before they even get out of high school i mean it just goes on and on and on and on when dad is on the scene and he's on this game a lot of that stuff nothing's perfect but a lot of that stuff will be censored a lot of that stuff will be caught because it's not about it not feeling good or what's going on. It's about what's best. And most times what's best for us, myself included, we don't want. We don't want. And it'll be easy to complain about what's going on to do something about it. So I'm saying, I'm not saying who's not doing something about it. I'm saying that this is why we're in the schools. This is why we're mentoring. It's because of stuff like that. We want to make sure that we give the kids another option, another option. And I'm telling you, it's working. So you need to order this book. You need to inbox me. I only have so many left. You need to order this book. It's $20. I'm telling you, for the young boys, uh, your, your kids are in high school. You know, they're on the team. They're the star. They got all these girls coming at them. <laughs> for the girl who got boys coming at them, understanding that she's nothing but a trophy, you know, just to mark off on his book. For the single mom who's raising a boy who really doesn't understand the changes of life that he's going through. And for us dads and men who didn't have a father or, or even if you had a father, you could always become better. You kind of stuck with what's going on. That's all I got to say. Inbox me. Give me a call. 817-681-3318. We're passionate about this. We're going to do something about it. I can post all day long about what's going on out here. But my thing is solutions. And the JTC is on the move. And we're changing the world through a conversation. So get a hold of me from boys and gentlemen. If you've seen the post, people are responding. It's touching people's lives. It's illuminating information. The kids just need information. They need enough an option. This your boy E. Wilson right here. JTC is on the move. Maybe you're going to have a conversation. Make it a good one and have a great day. Do something about what's going on. I'm out.